welcome to my site code diaries today's topic a uh, link manager in site code uh, let me introduce myself i am jitendra khanekar i am a site code in dotnet certified developer i am a site code consultant and architect from mumbai okay so let's start what we are going to see today in the this uh, video the preview of the video uh, we will see the how the dynamic links are used in this uh, I mean, example of a dynamic link then we will see link manager class uh, we will see url options item url builder options and media url builder options we will see build an item url how can we build an item url how can we build a media url so uh, let's start Okay, before starting let me request you if you are new to the channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update if you like the video please click on a like button to share it with your friends and family and do provide the feedback over a uh, comment uh, so let's start let's see the overview uh, you have a, a content tree structure okay where you will have a website a kind of a uh, content tree uh, this is your path basically sidecar slash content in website a now this website a can be accessed with a multiple ways okay you can have a domain like www.example.com that will point to website a uh, webs uh, you can have a www.example.com slash here so english language for the uh, so language is embedded here then you can have a branding okay so this website here you can have website b node if you want to access that website here with a node uh, default brand uh, it can be with the uh, language without language so there are different different combination which you can have but all these are pointing to the same uh, content tree node so how does this uh, these uh, urls are generated that is where we are going to see today uh, the the link manager which will going to help us to uh, uh, apply this or apply this logic in site code so the link we will see the link manager now so link manager class the link manager is a module of a site code used to resolve uris for example, you may only want to display a relative URI uh, or the current item language to its URI. The link manager is a particularly used in a multi-site configuration where an item can be accessed via different URIs that seems completely as related to each other. So link manager is helps us to resolve the URI. So you can with the help of a link manager, you can get the uh, user-friendly uh, URLs also. So this is the namespace c sidecode.links.link manager and uh, you can use there there can be a multiple there they have it has a multiple uh, methods one of them is a get item url uh, method to access the friend, friendly url for the contain item so this is a sample example where you have a database and you are getting this home item okay and you want the uh, user friendly url or friendly url for this get item url then you can use a link manager like link manager get item url home so this will provide you the get item url so this will provide you the friendly url okay so this is how you can use a link manager there are other methods also so those, those you can see when you, you use it but generally we use this get item url okay so this is how you use the link manager now question is you we, we have seen that uh, you can have a multiple ways of generating the urls but you see this code there is nothing in it so to do that there are some other classes which will be we will be using which we can pass to the this get item, get item url which help us to do it okay uh, so site code links uh, just one mistake which i have done just while speaking site code dot links is a power namespace but a link manager is a class where you can use this uh, yeah, method different method like a get item url now let's see what are the options which we need we can add to the get, get item url method which will provide us a different urls okay different uh, pattern of a url so one of them is the url options uh site code links dot url option is a class which we can use uh, it has a different properties which will help you to generate the different uh, ways of or different pattern of a url the first method is first uh, property is the site uh, resolving as you know site core can have a multiple uh, uh, sites in the in the same instance so site one site two site three and there's a links which are, which are uh, linked to each other uh, in one website user there's another uh, link is used then you need to resolve the site 
so for that if you it is enabled then it will work like that way uh, then you have a language embedding so language embedding if you want to add the language in the url so this will be enabled if you enable this then the language will get added add uh, express extension so you must have observed there is no a expects in the uh, site for uh, for the url extension so if but you want to add the express extension then you can make it enable similarly you have a, always include server urls if you want to encode anything you have encode url encode names then you have a lower case urls okay this is important for seo point of view if you want a url in the lower case i think that is the ideal case we should be having all the urls in the lower case in that case you can enable this lower render lower case url then the url will be uh, in the lower case then you have a shortened url and then you have a use display name use display name is basically used for the uh, multilingual case like uh, you have a website which is in the like canada in english in a ca that is in canadian english and then you are a frc which is a french canada french uh, uh, website so in this uh, uh, in in this case uh, you might want uh, the url uh, in the french language for the uh, frca uh, website then you can enable the use display name where the display name has a uh, different values in the in the the for uh, c and enc because you can you can specify that uh, display name in the french language for frca and that will be used as a url so this is the that property so the, uh, this is how you can use a url option you can define url option and can set all those value and you can pass as a parameter to the gate item url so whatever the options which you are used that will get applied on that uh, uh, url and that way it is uh, displayed or it will generate like encoded names yeah, sorry uh, if you make a language embedded true it will add the language okay if you make the add ex expects extension true then it will add the expects extension so this is how uh, it, it works okay but this url option is uh, if you are using the latest version of site code then this url option may be the absolute version which uh, you are using instead of that site code has provided another uh, class which you should be using now and let's see that class now so that is item url builder option okay so you can use item url builder option now so this item url builder option specification to control how site code builds the url which is similar to what you are, you are thinking of url option the class extends the site code links dot url builders dot url builder option so base class is url builders dot url builder option that contains the common properties you can use to control how site code generate the url for both the items in the media items and media item so let's see url builder option uh, class what properties it has it has a include server url which we have already seen it has a language so that will specify which language is used it has a language embedding whether you want to embed the language it gives the language location lowercase url specifies if the site code renders the lowercase url encode names that you want to encode the name use display name you want to use the display name these all things are there in the url builder option whereas in the item url builder option class you have add ex expects extension site code resolving site code context site site code context site give you the which for which site say the, the, the uh, it specifies the site for that request and then you have a short in URLs. so overall if you see it it handles all the scenarios all the properties which has the is in the url option and this is what what we should be using now because url option is absolute now you should start using the item url builder option in the link manager and this uh, can be uh, configured at the at the patch level you can create a patch in the uh, url builders and you can have all these property set and how to use it you can have the gate item url and the sample item then you can pass the new item url builder option with the, the property which you want to specify okay so this is how you can use the U item url by builder option okay now let's see a uh, media url builder option so media item url how it is uh, use uh, the media you can use the media url builder option specification to control the way site code builds the url the it is similar what we use for item url but it is for the uh, media okay that is for uh, media uh, that is for the item and this is for media the class extends the site code links dot url builder dot url builder option class 
that contains the common property you use to control how Cycle generates URLs for the both items and media. Okay. So if you see, it is used the similar way. There you are using the get item URL, but here you get media URL where you pass the media item and you pass the media URL builder option. Set the all the property. Now what are those property? We'll see in the next screen. But we are not going in detail there. You can, you can refer this. Okay. So whatever the configuration you will set up that will apply to the media url so okay so the what are the properties which we are having you see there are a lot of property here you have absolute path either you can specify the absolute path allow stage always append to revision all those are there have pack side height width okay scale default icon request extension virtual folder item region background color okay i'm not uh, going through it you can have a look on this okay this is available in the site for a uh, document okay so this is how media item url is used so uh, if you summarize these today's uh, uh, video so you can you will need to use a dynamic uh, uh, generated dynamic URL and also for the SEO friendly purpose also you have you should have some specific uh, requirement related to the SEO so for that purpose you you can you can use a link manager so whenever you want any item uh, uh, and this URL you can use a link manager and, uh, and that URL if you want in a specific format or you have a specific requirement then you can use a different URL options which we are having okay uh, it, uh, if you are using item then you can use item uh, item builder option if you are using a media then you can use a media builder option so those will help you to build the uh, the urls in a consistent manner which will help you in the seo okay this is how i can summarize today's video so we are done for today uh, if you have any question you can connect me on my email address and the uh, uh, in the uh, or in on the, the linkedin id uh, both are given at the uh, the footer of this uh, video okay you can you can use that uh, if you if you are not a subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update if you like the video please click on a like button share it with your friends and uh, friends and family and do provide the feedback about this uh, video over a uh, uh, comment and thank you. Thanks for watching.